Well, hi kids. This is the video that we have been promising you for a couple weeks. Uh, it's the video on our new Brinkley Z3100. It's probably going to be a little bit longer uh, of a video than we normally do. Apparently, Gracie wants to play with toys. Apparently, it's playtime. Apparently, it's playtime for <laughs> Gracie. Uh, so we're, it's probably going to be a little bit longer than our normal videos just because we've got a fair amount of ground to cover and we want to give you uh, a really good review of this rig. We're breaking it up into a few categories. The first category is why we upgraded. So why did we upgrade from our Imagine 2500 RL to the Brinkley? There was a few pain points that we needed to address uh, since we had made the decision that we are going to continue full-timing. The first of those pain points we needed to address, address was we needed more storage. Yes. Why? Because we full-time. I mean, I think you think the trailer is big enough if it can go for a week, but honestly, you need more storage if you are full-time. There are things that you just can't live without and living without them are painful. And when you say go for a week, things like clothes, because we each had just like a week's worth of clothes, which for for me, for a dude, not that big of a deal, but you, right. you were just like done with the 10 <laughs> outfits that you were wearing. To burn each and every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Even just socks and not underwear because underwear are small, but most underwear are small, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed more storage for clothes and, and extra blankets and stuff like that because, again, you full time. There's things that pop up that you, you just find that you need. I also needed a better workspace in the in the Imagine. I was kind of sitting in the, the, the theater seats with the laptop on my lap editing, and it was killing my back. So now, in the Brinkley, I have a much better workspace. We've basically taken the floating table, the floating kitchen table, um, and turn that into my workspace. Way more comfortable. And honestly, the chairs that shipped uh, with the Brinkley are super comfortable, even for a big dude like me. And I have my own workspace too. Mm -hmm. Like the ottoman that goes with the dy dinette comes out and you set it in front of the couch. It has a raising desk. I did not even know this. It's great. So I keep all my arts and crafts kind of in, in the ottoman. I keep my office supplies right above it. And I could, sit, I could sit here all day and work. It raises up. I can sit comfortably. I can work on my yeah. computer. I can do my painting. This area is just awesome for that. Next pain point was a washer and dryer. God, laundry was such a pain point across the United States because you just never know what you're going to show up to, especially when you're having 10 outfits. <laughs> yeah. It was just everywhere we go. The first thing I do is checking out the laundry room. Um, and now I have a washer and dryer and oh my gosh, a million worlds away. My laundry is always clean. I'll say this. <laughs> if I ever build a house, I'm going to put the laundry room in the bedroom because to be able to wash, dry, fold, hang up and put away all in one room. It's just so, it's so easy. Then the last thing I have for our pain point was a king size bed. We had been sleeping on the queen in the Imagine. And so now we have the king. We have been married for 37 years. We always had a king. He rolls around a lot and so do I. Not to mention, you would be absolutely and completely surprised how much room a six pound chihuahua pug mix takes up. She does take up a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Any other pain points you can think of? The pantry in the Imagine. I now have a full yeah. pantry, so now I can stock up on food, so I'm not stressing about keeping the right amount of food. The big refrigerator. Wait till I show you the refrigerator when we get to the kitchen. It is so stocked with food right now because we have a couple our, of days before. It's a couple days before Christmas. <laughs> we have the son and daughter-in-law coming out. <laughs> Well, let's move on to the next section, which is why we purchased a Brinkley Z3100 uh, as opposed to another trailer. And I will say we did a lot of research. We walked through a lot of fifth wheels. We were looking at a Solitude. Um, I think it was a 310RK. We were looking at a Alliance uh, 310RL, I believe. The build quality on the Brinkley was so much it was uh, was to a much higher standard than the solitude and uh and the alliance and what do i mean by the build quality for starters the plumbing in the brinkley is all packs with the exception of uh there's some flex tube that runs to the water pump and 
all of the fittings are brass fittings. In all the other rigs we looked at, all of the fittings were plastic. Sticking with the plumbing, every plumbing appliance in this trailer has its own shutoff valve so you can isolate it. Why is that important? Well, if you have an issue with a water leak under your sink, you can turn the sink off, continue to have water for, to the rest of the trailer if you have to use the toilet or something like that. You don't have to turn all of the water off to the trailer. Talk a little bit about the interior design because that was something you really liked. It's beautifully done. All the cabinetry is beautiful. The, the window surroundings, none of that cloth valances or anything like that. The hardware, instead of being silver or black, it's a, it's a really pretty gold. The countertops are white, so that'll go with anything. The cabinetry is very clean, so if I end up picking a different color, and they're painted, by the way, they give you the paint name it's sherwin williams so if you get dings on these cabinets just buy, go buy yourself a sample size of this color and you can fix these dings so it's always going to look clean it's going to look it's just lovely i mean the interior design and mm -hmm. the way everything is set up the colors of the couch yeah everything works it's got basically a very very residential feel to it yeah. the first night that we had that we sat in this trailer after bringing it home and we've said it multiple times since then is I don't feel like I'm sitting in a trailer. I feel like I'm sitting in an apartment or a condominium. It's just, it doesn't feel like a trailer. All right, so that's kind of why we upgraded, why we purchased. Now uh, let's talk about, I kind of want to go through some of the features of the different parts of the trailer. So the first thing I want to talk about is the exterior of the Brinkley Z3100. I love the I can't really call it a paint job because it's decals, but I love the look of the decals uh, on the outside of this trailer. I am referring to it as a no swish zone. <laughs> it's like every trailer out there has the big swooping swishes all over it, but there is no swishes anywhere on this. Not it's a single just swish. Very clean lines, and I love that about it. They have, they being Brinkley, have an automotive grade sealant package. That's their term for it. What does that mean? On every other trailer out there, everything that's that's on the outside of it, the windows, the, the spray ports, all of that, they all have this layer of caulking around everything. They don't do that with these trailers. There is no caulking all over everything. It's all butyl uh, on the inside so that everything is sealed that way. What does that mean? That means you don't have to go around every three months to six months Checking putting caulk. new caulking on everything. Checking the caulk. Checking the caulk. So it's got frameless windows on it, which we both love the look of. In the beginning, we were concerned that you wouldn't get enough airflow because the windows don't open this way like normal windows. They, open, they don't slide, they open this way. So the bottom kind of kicks out. And we were afraid that there wouldn't be enough airflow through. With that, we were absolutely wrong. No, and part of that also is because they put Max Air fans in here. More on that later. Um, and the Max Air fans allow that. that When you turn them on and, and turn them up, it just pulls the air it into the trailer. And with the slides, even with our, our grand design, which I loved, those slides are so hard to slide off. And most of the time, they were just hard to slide. Oh, the sliding windows? So yeah, I yeah, yeah. I was always struggling with them. These are just a little crank. Mm -hmm so easy to open. So I find myself opening them a lot more. The, the Z3100 is technically a mid-profile fifth wheel. What that means was pass-through lost some storage capacity because it wasn't as tall, but they did put a rear storage compartment on the rig, so that made up for what we were losing in the pass-through. It's got this kind of nifty retractable water hose. Uh, so you don't have to like wrap your hose up and put it on a, on a reel or something like that. It's got a built-in reel. You can just pull the water hose out. It extends out to 65 feet. It has electric waste gates. So your gray tank and your black tank, it's a simple push a button and it opens up. Now I know you're saying, well, what happens if, you know, I don't have electricity or, or my batteries die, then I can't dump. Well, you, you can, there is a manual override for it. So if you wind up in that situation, you can manually override it. Sewer hose storage. 
does have a place to store a sewage hose. We didn't have that on the Imagine. I like having it here. It just opens up a little more space in my pass-through because it's one less bin that I have to carry. Next, let's talk a little bit about the living area. What do we got there, kid? All the cabinetry is soft clothes. Yes. That's nice. Yes, all the cabinets are. The drawers are not, but the cabinets are soft clothes. The opposing slides make this thing feel so huge. Yeah. It just feels huge. Yeah. Um, which is lovely. And there's no carpeting. So when the slides are out, the floor is level, so there's no edge that you have to stick on. You yeah, know, it's stub your toes. It's flush. Can. So the floor to the, the main floor to the slide floor, once the slide's out, is completely flush. The slide heights are tall. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I, I have like a permanent indent in the top of my head from banging my head on the slide out. These are tall enough that I can stand under them, and I'm 6'4", so. There's a coffee bar, which is really cute. We don't use it as a coffee bar. I, I would equate it to like a small little mudroom. We throw, I throw my purse, we throw our keys. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a catch-all space. That's what we use it as. The floating table, there's no legs to the floating table, so you're not knocking your knees on anything. Banging That's your great. knee on it. And it's very easy to um, vacuum around. In the dinette, there's a little hidden drawer. And since that's now become his office place, I can put pins and I can put note, mm -hmm. sticky notes. And I keep my stamps in there. And it's mm -hmm. just a nice place to know where... If I need a pen, I know exactly where I need to go get a pen from. I, home. <laughs> I think that drawer was originally designed to for be silverware. like a silverware drawer. Um, but since that's more of an office space for us, like Tony said, we just use it for office supplies. Office supplies is great. It's all right there. The Ottoman coffee table, weirdly enough, is one of my favorite features. Um, I use it for everything. I use it to work on because it... it turns into a table, turns into a desk. I use it to do art. I use it to put my feet up on when I'm watching TV. Mm -hmm. The televator is, is awesome too. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, what we discovered for Thanksgiving was when the TV's down, that becomes almost five feet of counter space. Huge amount of counter space. We had a buffet dinner across yeah. my whole kitchen for the whole campground um, yeah. for Thanksgiving. It was great. I covered it with placemats so nothing would drop down into the televator thing. Mm -hmm. And we just set up all the food up there. And it was just awesome. People lined up. And uh, What else do we have? Trifold sofa. This sofa is so comfortable to sit on. I almost prefer it to the chairs because I tend to like to lay back and, you know, Lay. I like to lay with my dog and watch TV, and I can lay on this couch. Um, it turns into a full queen bed. We have our son and daughter-in-law coming for Christmas, and this is where they're going to sleep. Fireplace, surprisingly. I love the fireplace in here. Now, of course, for those of you that don't know, it's not an actual fireplace. It's an RV fireplace, which means it's a great big electric heater um, that has a front end, that window that looks like it simulates fire in a fireplace. It's a little fakey, mm -hmm. but... But it, it heats this trailer up, and when we're in campgrounds, we're not paying extra for the electricity, so we can use that to heat this room instead, instead of, of propane, propane, which we have to use. Which and it we works have beautifully. Gracie loves it. She, mm -hmm. she, she, her bed's in front of it, and she just loves the heat that comes off of it. Yeah, she is a huge fan of the uh, of the fireplace. Um, the other thing is, and there all there's some in the bedroom, and there's here in the living room too. Is the dimmable lights? I love it. Like at night when we're sitting down, and you know the day is done, and maybe we're gonna watch a little bit of TV. I dim these lights and it's lovely. So the, the, Mike left one thing off his list, so I have to include. Oh. These little end tables are awesome, by the way. There's one on each size. Uh -huh. They have USB. And there's USB ports everywhere in this trailer. And they're USB-A and USB-C. Yes. Thank you, Brinkley. Thank you, Brinkley, because especially we're in the video production industry and we're always having to charge cameras yep. And, yep. and phones yep. and everything. And I no longer have to constantly be hunting for an adapter from USB-A to USB-C. It's great. But these little end tables, so they have power too, so they have a little thing that pops up. Ma'am. And it has power and it has so. the USB. But they also have a little storage that is so easy to access. Let's move on to the kitchen. So the kitchen area has a couple of really well thought out things. First off, 
It has a sliding drawer that has two trash cans in it. What does that mean? That means we can use one for our trash, one for our recyclables, and, you know, be a little bit more green than we have been being for the last year. In that same drawer is a paper towel holder that you could just pull out and use. It also has a drawer that I like to keep all my storage bags, trash bags, parchment papers, tin foil. It's all right there, so it's it's so close. They claim it's a gourmet kitchen, and it is. It is so easy to mm -hmm. cook in this thing. I have so much counter space, but the way that it's designed makes my cooking job so much easier. And before we move away from the drawers, uh, th and this was one of the selling points that, that got us, was that the drawers are all solid wood. They are all finished both outside and inside. They all have dovetail joints on the drawers. The drawers we looked at on the other trailers, it was like unfinished plywood. And I remember looking splinters. at one of them going, I would get splinters from this. I did get splinters from them. Yeah, I mean, just... these, these drawers are finished and they're sanded, solid. they're finished, they're solid, yeah. Yes. And there's different sizes too. Like there's deeper drawers for your pans and there's you know medium drawers for a little bit higher things. What do we got next? We did, oh, solid surface countertops. Oh, yeah. There are solid surface countertops all through it. It's also on the coffee bar, it's on the island, and it's on both sides of the stove. Mm -hmm. and it's just nice. And they are solid surface. They're not going to absorb water and start, you know, delaminating. delaminating and all that stuff. They're solid surface countertops. There is a stainless farmhouse sink that is friggin' huge. It also has a nice faucet that goes with it in the gold too, which is really nice. And it does the spray and everything. And there is a pantry with adjustable shelves. We so love having a pantry because we didn't have it in the Imagine. This pantry, it's big. It's got a light that's on a motion sensor. Um, all of the shelves are completely adjustable. You can put them anywhere you want. I have room for my appliances, like my air fryer and my ice maker. There's also an outlet in there. What's a good reason to have that outlet in there? Well, if you, uh, I'll tell you a good reason why there's an outlet in there, because there's also an access port in there that you can get to a cable run for for cabling that you want to bring in and out of the trailer. So let's say you have a, a Starlink. You could run the cable to go to the router through that cable pass through, plug it into the router, and then have your router inside that pantry and plug the router into the power in the pantry. How's that? There you go. How's that for a reason? That's good. The 16 cubic feet 12 volt refrigerator mm -hmm. is just a blessing. <laughs> I hate the old absorption fridges because they take forever to get cold. Not this. Not this one. You plug it in within an hour, it's cold. It is a 16 cubic feet, so that's considerably bigger than twice what we it. had in the Imagine. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's twice. I think we had a 10 cubic foot. Anyway, but, but close enough so to much twice. Room. I got a freezer, a big freezer, and again, it's Christmas, so I have prime ribs mm -hmm. in there. I have, mm -hmm. you know. It is. It is packed it's, full. It's, right now uh only only negative on it is that it's a black uh finish to it which picks up fingerprints. fingerprints like crazy but yeah you just wipe them down and honestly i wouldn't change it because the black goes with the rest of the interior so well oh so max air fan uh-huh right above the uh -huh. stove which is so nice and it has a rain sensor on it, so if it's open and it starts raining, it Big will close. automatically close itself. The microwave's bigger than the microwave that was in the Grand Design. Mm -hmm. Also, it has the fan and the light integrated in the bottom of that, so I don't have like a stove hood, which is kind of nice. It keeps the lines yeah. really clean because it's at the same level as the cabinets, so it gives me more room to cook underneath. This, this stove is just it rocks. It's amazing. It's a three burner stove. Some of the old stoves and some of the old trailers, you could get, you know, where the burners were, there was like space and you get food down there and it was hard to clean it. This thing, I just lift off the things and I wipe it down and it's mm -hmm. so easy to clean. And it's taller, so it's easier for Mike to cook too because yep. he's, he's very tall. And the height goes for the sink on the pedestal as well. Yeah. I always said for years when we owned our house that if I ever built a custom house, I was going to have them make 
make all of the countertops like four inches taller, just so that I wasn't, tall people, you'll get this, so that I wasn't half bent over washing dishes or half bent over cooking. These feel like they have that little extra height, so it's it's more comfortable for me to work. And then my oven. My yeah, the oven. oven's great. Picked a full turkey. Mm -hmm. It's it's bigger. It's much bigger. Um, I think we got a little bit out of order here because I know we need to talk about the bathroom. Give us a second. Actually, let's talk about the bedroom okay. first. What are your favorite things about the bedroom? There's a lot. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like a cave. We jokingly call it the love cave, but it doesn't feel like a cave. It feels like a bedroom. The Imagine felt like a cave. Yeah. It was kind of dark and it was, yeah. It felt like a cave. It's pretty tall. Mike can stand in there. Not a problem. Yeah. The chest in there. Not a problem. With with the mid-profile frame, a lot of times that front cap, it kind of dives down. The ceiling dives down into the front cap. That doesn't happen with this one. So it's a six foot six ceiling up in the bedroom, which means I can stand up in it just fine. The mattress that it came with is comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that so was surprised. something that was something that blew us both away when we first went and looked at this trailer was we both sat down and then laid down on the bed and said this mattress is completely usable. Yeah. For any of you that have ever bought a rig before, you know, the first thing that you do is throw that oh, damn mattress that out. Piece of foam out. <laughs> throw that piece of foam out and go get another, go get an actual mattress. I like the mattress. I'm totally happy with yep. it. Did not have to do that with this rig. The mattress that it came with works fine. And even though it's a king size bed, it's completely walk aroundable and it's easy to make. Again, my washer and dryer. <laughs> I just love my washer and dryer. A lot of rigs, the washer dryer is put into the closet space in the front and the washer's on one side and the dryer's on the other. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is when you put all your clothes in there, now you have to move all your clothes around to get to the washer and dryer. They did not do that on this rig. You still have the closet, but there's a cabinet off to the right where your washer and dryer stackable sits in there. That's awesome. So you don't have to move all your clothes around. That was huge. The closet's huge and it has, it also has light in it, which is great. It has shoe storage. It has a place to mount my wireless vacuum. The way they did the light in the closet, I, I think is kind of brilliant engineering too. They actually used the bar, the hang bar in the ceiling and integrated a light into that. The sliding doors on the closet are mirrored, which is nice. Cause if you remember in the Imagine, I had to put up a mirror, a full length mirror. Mm -hmm. This already has it. It's got the, the t it's got two lamps that you could turn on individually. It also mm -hmm. has two shelves in there that you, with USB, mm -hmm. some people could put their, I guess they could put their CPAP machines up there. We don't use a, a CPAP or anything, but like I put my phone up there at night. Yeah, I use it to just put my, my uh, iPad up on there. There is hidden storage in the top of the dresser. We don't really use that hidden storage so that much. You put your jewelry in there, but it's there. Um, it's got plenty of drawers in there, drawers. especially since we came under from- Underbed storage is huge. Underbed storage is huge. We came from that Imagine that had like, we each had what, one drawer? One drawer. So yeah, now we, we have- two drawers, we had two tiny little drawers. Now we have tons of drawers. So we, have, we have plenty, have plenty of, drawers. of drawers. And they're all filled already. Dimmable lights too. It does have dimmable lights in there. It's got the TV in there. Mm -hmm which is really nice. Um, it doesn't have a sliding door. It has a closing door that locks. So if I get mad at him and I, you know, we get into an <laughs> argument, I can slam it and then lock him out. Nice. So let's talk about the bathroom. So for starters, um, the bathroom in this rig is not as spacious as the bathroom in the Imagine 2500RL. In the RL, the 2500RL, it was the full width of the trailer. Even though it's not as spacious, that's still not a problem for me. You? No, not at all. Yeah. The shower pretty much steals the show yeah, it's in the bathroom. A <laughs> it's a large shower. It's a full fiberglass shower. It doesn't have that spongy floor, you know, that you feel like you're walking on a sponge, which we had in the Imagine. Um, it's bigger than the one in the Imagine, too. Yeah, it's bigger than the one in the, in the Imagine. We're big people, and we can both fit in that shower. We have. Together. <laughs> Ooh, it's got, the, it's got the human car wash is what I'm referring to it. It's got, like, the handheld... Uh, shower head but it's also got the overhead one and then it's got body sprayers at first we thought 
well, this is going to be a problem if we're boondocking because it takes a while to get the temperature just right. Ma'am, are you done? It takes a while to get the temperature just right. And this is such a simple solution that I had never thought of. Somebody posted it on the Brinkley Owners uh, uh, Facebook page. You have an instant hot water heater. Just set it to a temperature that's comfortable, which for us is 109, and turn it to full hot and then just turn it on. You don't have to spend any time getting it to the right temperature. So yeah, tip for you. Anything else you want to add on the shower? Ma'am, that's your it's bite. It's got two steps in it on both ends. So if you want to shave your legs, it's a little step so you can shave your legs. And the old one I had to bend over all the way to shave my legs mm -hmm. and, and, and contort. And this is nice. So you can just shave my legs. It's good. I love it. If you don't use it to shave your legs, you can set your bottle of shampoo on it. But that leads me to the other thing. It gives you two full shelves mm -hmm. to put your products on. Yeah. That's amazing. It has glass sliding doors. I know for some people that's not a plus, that's a minus because like they it. tend to get water spots and stuff, but I like them. I like the glass sliding doors. Just keep them clean. Yeah, keep them clean and also make sure you use the locks when you travel because if you don't, you're yeah. not going to have but the glass locks are very sliding easy. doors. Yeah, the locks are You've easy. You've got a lock, lock to keep it open, you got a lock to keep it closed. Mm -hmm. And I like the tankless water heater. At first, I didn't know whether I was going to like it or not, um, but I but I do like it, especially when you're in an RV park because, you know, you can leave the gray tanks open and just take as long of a shower as you want. Yeah. You don't have to worry about using up all the hot water for the next person. Right. It has a round toilet seat. I'm, I'm not a big fan of rounded toilet seats. I like elongated toilet seats. We we already made it, had this discussion, though. I sit on it a lot longer than you do. You do. Biology. Mm-hmm. What about the storage in the bathroom? It's great storage. Mm -hmm. Plenty of storage. Under the sink, there's drawers. The medicine cabinet is big enough to put all our, our important stuff in it. We don't have a lot of medicine, but, you know, I have beauty products and mm -hmm. the, um, shaving cream and stuff like that. It's also lighted. The mirror is lighted. <gasps> Women. So, <laughs> which... It has two switches in the bathroom, one for just the overhead lights, and then they have another switch that puts lights on in the shower, and it puts lights on behind the mirror. So if you use it to put your makeup on, you're not just getting that down lighting, which can be deceptive when you're trying to put makeup on. Yeah. It has, um, the mirror is lit behind it, which is so much better for, you know, just putting your makeup on. It's great. I love it. There's a big pantry in there that holds, uh, that's that's where I put all our towels, all our sheets, extra blankets, all our extra toilet paper. I don't know about you, but COVID taught me I always keep a lot of toilet paper on hand. <laughs> <laughs> and now I do. <laughs> and it also doesn't have, speaking of towels, it doesn't have a towel rod. It has hooks, which I think are way more efficient. Dude, I've, I replaced the towel rods in my house years and years yep. ago because kids will not use a towel rod. They'll use a hook. Mm -hmm. The yeah. kids will not use a towel rod. It's too hard for them to drape a towel over a rod. Yep. But they'll use a hook every time. They will use a hook. Mm -hmm. um, kids and um, husbands. And it also has a Max Air fan in there. It does. It has a Max you Air. You know? You know. <laughs> it's good for a couple of things. One, uh, the the aromatic effervescence of the trailer itself. Keeps that down. It's good for that. It's also good because when you're taking a shower, it tends to build up steam and stuff and add moisture into that room. Turn that fan on, it sucks it all out. The other thing about this trailer is that it it's pet friendly. Um, and as you know, we have Gracie. Um, so what are the pet friendly things about it? Uh, there are no vents in the floor, with the exception of the bathroom, but it's right behind the toilet. But she doesn't go to. So. Yeah, she doesn't go through there. In the, but in it the feels living kind of room, good when the heater's on. <laughs> during yeah, the it bathroom. does. <laughs> yeah, if you need to get warm, turn the heater on, go in the bathroom. That's another one of those door. little things I'm telling you. There's little things about this trailer mm -hmm. that it's little things that you go, oh, that was smart. <laughs> so no in-floor vents. That's, that's great because if you have pets, not only can hair get in there, pet hair get in those in-floor vents, but if you leave your dog alone in the in the trailer and they have like a dog tag, those dog tags can get caught in those vents. 
then you have a problem. And then they also get hot, and the d d dog can hurt themselves on that. Yep. I don't like them. Um, it has the cool uh, slide in, slide out uh, food trays, food and water trays. Which is awesome. It comes with a screen defender screen protector on the screen door, um, which will keep your dog from tearing holes in that. I'm trying to think if there's any, there's a couple of little things we missed. Should I hit on? Yeah. What do you got? There's a shelf um, behind the televator. Mm-hmm. That is, we call it the tech shelf because that's where he puts his router and we put the, the camera for Gracie and stuff. And it's high up and it's above the window and you barely yep. even notice it. That's nice. The more ride steps, they rotate. So I was always having to sweep everything off a whole lot. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. you know, especially when you're in campgrounds that aren't cement, you have to get the rocks and the dirt off. These just flip over and all the rocks and the dirt come off. off. It also has an elongated handle. For getting in and out of the trailer which is uh -huh. really that's a nice uh -huh. thing it's got, got got the little magnet holder for the refrigerator lock it does yes that's a cool thing too it's like the guys that the guys and gals that designed this thing have rv'd because there's little tiny things, things that aren't expensive but they yeah. just make everything so much easier what tony's talking about is there's a screw in a lock for the refrigerator on travel days but when you screw it out inside of the cabinet next to the refrigerator there's a little magnet so you just drop it on and the speaking magnet. of magnets the toilet paper holder mm -hmm. there's a magnet against the wall so when on travel days you just slide it over and it clicks that magnet and yep. i'm not having to put it in the shower to keep it from falling over yeah. and so it, it's great it's just tiny little things like that throughout this trailer yeah um, it's just a well-built well thought out rig yeah there's so many little tiny things that you're just like that is so cool okay before it gets too crazy long which i'm lying Sorry. it's already gotten too crazy long is there anything that you don't like about the trailer if you gotta think about it this long that's a pretty good sign yeah no I have one dislike, um, and that is that the recliners, the back of the recliner is fairly low. But I'll also qualify this by saying I'm 6'4", and, and my height is all from my ass up. I've got, like, short legs. So the top part of me is fairly tall. If they had just made that those those theater seats a little bit taller i would have something to rest my head on i really can't rest my head on on anything in the theater seats so yeah. that's like the only that's the only dislike i have and again i'm uh, not your average size bear so i just keep you know we've been in this trailer for a month and i keep finding little fish mm -hmm. <laughs> like oh, oh look at that that's so good that's awesome mm -hmm. <laughs> Now, in fairness, fairness, we haven't drug it down the road much. Uh, it's been pretty stationary since we bought it. We did do one trip down into the desert and back, which was, you know, a, a two-hour drive down, two-hour two drive two-hour drive, back. drive, but it was a six-day boondock. Six-day boondock. Yeah, we boondocked in it for six days, and it worked fine. We did do an upgrade on the batteries when we bought it, so we have two lithium batteries in it. So if you are looking to upgrade to a Brinkley uh, specifically a Z3100. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to throw them in the comments. We're really good at answering comments. So if you have questions, throw them down there. All right. I'll, I'll, again, I'll do a, we'll do another show on just little tick tips and tricks I've learned since being in this for a yeah. month. Okay. I'm, I'm saying it again, which has gone way too long. Way too long. All right. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of the Brinkley Z3100. I hope you all have a lovely and Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year. We'll see you soon. See ya.